Hi, in this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to form the temples on a pair of glasses. Uh, so there we can see how the temples are loose. You can see they should be more down and they should wrap around the ear a little bit more. Right, to reform this, I need to heat it up. I can use a heat gun, but be very careful because with a heat gun, you can easily destroy the temples. But I will show you step by step how I do it, even with a heat gun. You can also use a hair dryer. It is more time consuming, but it also works. Now, in this case, I need to bend this temple down and also a bit inwards. But notice that when I'm doing it, it just flops right back. So that's why it needs to be heated up. But one of the challenges with this is if you heat this up too much, it'll just bubble and it will be destroyed. Some temples use this type of plastic. And if I put too much heat on here, it actually deforms. For example, if I put my finger there or if I hold it too tight, you'll see that it actually deforms. So you've got to be very careful. Now, because we're working with heat, you can use gloves to protect your fingers. But because this plastic is so sensitive to heat, if it's too hot for my fingers, it's also too hot for the plastic. So in this video, I'm actually not going to wear the gloves, but I'm just showing that for safest practice, one should always wear gloves. Right, the heat gun is now warm. I've set it to the lowest setting. Right, so I'm heating it up. Notice that I never let the heat gun stay in one place and I keep rotating the temple and I also never touch the heat gun onto the temple. Now I'm heating it up and I just do a quick test. It's not that hot yet. Right, and it is quite warm. I can feel it's warm in my hand. Not so much that it would burn me and I'm bending this and bending it inwards and bending it down. Just do a little bit more. Right, so you can see the one side is bent completely towards the head, while the other side there you can see still needs to be bent. Right, some people like it like this and they'll be happy with it just because it's pressing now on the skull and it won't fall off. But some people want it wrapped around the ear. So if you want to do that, then I'll just have to heat it up and bend it on that corner just downwards. Right, so I'm going to do the other side now. Right, so just having a look, you can see how the one is angling in and the one needs to be angled in and a little bit down. Right, so why I'm doing this is because I want to be able to match them. So I'm going to heat up this side and then check if it corresponds to the other side. If you don't have a heat gun, you can also use the hairdryer. So I've set it to the maximum heat and now I just turn it on. Right, while it's still warm, I bend it. Notice I'm bending it slowly and then I'm bending it inwards and down. Right, so it's almost bent enough. Right, so both sides have now been bent inwards and down. So what I'm going to do is put it on the subject and then check if it fits. Right, now this one is flush on the side there and this one is also flush. You can just check if they're comfortable for the user. Take them off, put them on see if they fall off and in this case he's happy with them because he doesn't want them wrapped around his ear but if he did all you need to do is heat up that bend there and then wrap it down right whenever adjusting the temples just make sure that the spectacles are sitting straight because sometimes when you adjust the sides it then goes like that so you always got to check because you might need to readjust the temples to make sure that the spectacles are sitting straight Right, just a couple of tips. If I just need to bend this temple a little bit down, I don't need to heat up the whole temple. I just need to heat up that area, but I also have to heat up on the side so that when I do bend it, it doesn't tear. So all I would do is this, as I showed in the video. So there's no need to heat up the whole temple. That would be incorrect. I just need to heat up the section that I'm busy with. The next tip is do not hold the heat gun like this. It will deform the plastic and boah, look at that. That is what we don't want. You can see that bubbling. That means I held the heat source there for too long. You don't need to hold it there for long. That is why I heat it up a little bit and try and bend it. Heat it up a little bit, try and bend it. Different plastics require different heat. In this case, as you can see, just a little bit of heat and there it bubbles. The next tip is don't need to heat it up that much. If I try and heat it up too much, when I put my fingers there, I might even bend the plastic or deform it just with my fingers. And I'll show you what I mean in a second. 
Now, in this case, I've heated it up quite a lot and I'm going to try and bend it. And then the minute I put my fingers here, look what I've just done. Right, so I tried to bend it, but because it was too hot, look at that impression that is now in the plastic. See that impression there? We don't want that. And that's because it was too hot, then I came with my fingers and it deformed the plastic. And that's a sign that I'm too aggressive with the heat. The next tip is just be careful of bending it too much. You might find that you're checking the one side and it's perfect. And that's only because the other side is all open. And the minute you bend the other side, now it's way too tight. So I bend the one side a little bit, put it on the subject, check to see that the curvature and everything is right, and then I bend the other side a little bit. If it needs to be bent more, then I bend the one side, then I bend the other side. Some people want a harsh bend. They want it wrapped right around their ear and they want it really tight. That's up to them. But just when you're heating it up, just be careful because if you bend it too much and too aggressively, you might even deform the plastic here, might even tear. So I heat it up a bit, bend it, and then I do the other side. And then once it's settled a bit, then I'll heat it up again and bend it some more. Now, in many spectacles, you can see there's a wire that's inside that plastic. That is very helpful. So all I need to do is heat up the plastic a little bit. And then when I bend that wire, that wire will keep it in place. So I don't have to heat this up much at all. And my final tip is that some spectacles are very dainty. They just need a little bit of heat and then you can bend it. In this case, there's no steel inside here, but I'm showing how thin this plastic is. Just need to heat it up a little bit. But remember to spread the heat when you are doing the heating. Right, thanks for watching and cheers.